Hey guys, Silent Sale here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video, and finally we are down to the very final Gacha of February, and that belongs to Freya. So let's take a look at Freya's episode plate and see if it is on par with Mikumo's brand new episode plate, which is pretty decent, in fact. Uh, having a good total score and all that good jazz. So let's take a look here. Three thousand eight hundred and fifty-five total score. Uh, almost on same par level as Mik uh, Mikumo's brand new episode plate um, just like Mikumo's focusing on voice and of course the lower stat will be so and a bit more on charm so pretty similar to Mikumo just that maybe well it doesn't have the same divas that are able to use the episode plate itself which is good it adds variety and of course for those of us who are Makina, Cheryl and maybe Minmei fans are able to use Freya's brand new plate with your favorite diva. All right, so looking at it, the center skill, voice up, it seems like it's the same thing as Mikumo. So things are looking good in terms of, you know, whether you should pull this episode plate or not. So let's move on to page two. With the active skill, five seconds score up at 70%. So it's very, very similar. Life skill, score, repeat, and damage. So it looks like it's actually a duplicate except for maybe the stats on the episode plate and of course who are who are usable or rather i'm fumbling right here i'm tired it's been a whole day so uh, excuse me on that so yeah uh like i said um other than that well basically whoever is using uh, this episode plate is definitely different from uh mikumo's episode plate itself so let's take a look at the last page is it the same fate as mikumo's episode plate does it not come with a special note attached to it and sadly to say yes it doesn't come with a special note attached to it so if with all of that said uh, it's the same results as mikumo's should you pull this episode plate well basically if you don't have an episode plate with this live skill like i said for mikumo's go ahead and try and get it but of course, the main point is to unlock Freya's brand new costume, um, which is also belonging to the Valkyrie Third Life costume set, same as Mikumo's. So with all of that said, this gacha video is definitely going to be a lot shorter than Mikumo's, uh, with all the explanation out of the way. So like I like I speculated in Mikumo's gacha, we were talking about you know the new theory on um, you know the gacha system considering that now Dana has uh, implemented a free single pool with every brand new featured gacha um, you know you can use it to test the waters of the luck I forgot to mention this in Mikumo's uh, gacha video well um, some of us have been theorizing that you know how often is the gacha rate changed in Uta Macross well in my personal theory um, I've been trying it out basically we all know that dana gives out free single plate pools um if you guys have been logging in and collecting them daily the service gacha here is reset three times a day um so you can see the timing is all here in that pink highlighted line right here so yes so that, that's where my theory comes in basically my theory is that dana resets the gacha luck three times a day so basically you can use the free gacha pools from the service gacha and of course the featured gacha um, single pool to test the waters to see whether that time period is actually good or ideal for you to pull your gacha. So that's that's really the real breakdown of my theory on the gacha. I forgot to mention it uh, in the Mikumo's gacha video. I apologize for that. So let's test the waters right here with the, uh, the free service gacha. If this one pulls out like a higher rarity, a red box, or maybe even an episode plate that I have yet to collect in my collection, mainly because it's rare and it doesn't appear that often, uh, we know that the gacha for the day is, or rather the time period, is technically better. So we did get a very slow load right there, even though we didn't see any Valkyrie animations, but it might produce an episode plate that is pretty low in the um, collective numbers. Um, especially you, you can tell from the secret board numbers that the episode plate itself has unlocked. So you can tell I have about six copies of this, um, technically seven if you want to count the first copy or eight. 
<laughs> it takes two copies to make it fully evolved, and of course the consecutive uh, numbers are all the secret bots. So technically this one is kind of rare because I don't have it in like the double digits or triple digits. So let's further along prove the theory with the free single pool from the featured gacha. Um, you know, sometimes if the if the the conditions are right, the single pool might end up pulling a six star episode plate or a five star episode plate, depending on the luck of the day and time. So you can tell that the luck isn't so fantastic, and we did technically use up the luck on the Mikumo gacha video. So I'm expecting a pretty dry run today. So yeah, as you can tell, we are only getting a regular silver boxes. Um, during this time period, which is the evening time period, the last three gacha, you know, of the day. So yeah, anyways, I barely managed to scrape 300 singing stones considering all the singing stones I sacrificed for Min Mei's gacha, and of course, um, barely scraping by Mikumo's gacha as well, but somehow or other I managed to scrap through 300 singing stones thanks to the event, and that 100 singing stones um, from that login bonus that recently uh, occurred, so that, I'm pretty grateful for that. So, like I said, Macross fans, you guys are pretty lucky. Uh, I'm pretty lucky as well. I'm a Macross fan as well, same like you guys. Dana is very generous on all the free gems and singing stones, whatever you want to call it by. Um, yeah, they've been providing us more than enough free singing stones to at least do a template free gacha pool. Uh, for every brand new featured gacha that occurs, uh, if you want to pull like maybe the birthday gachas or maybe the um, sometimes they do the Utame Cross um, service gachas or maybe like Makutoma service gachas, Nyan Nyan Kuji gachas, you know, to pull those extra gachas, definitely you have to dig out the cash from your wallet. So, yeah, providing us free. Stones, singing stones, free gems, just to pull the brand new featured service gachas um, for every event. I think that's pretty generous enough uh, compared to other mobile games out there. So yeah guys, what do you guys think of you know, the generosity of Dana? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think they should give more? Do you maybe think they could have uh, planned um, you know, more um, events or missions or challenges to provide us with more fun? At the same time, giving us rewards and all that good stuff, you can let me know all in the comments down below. And hopefully Dana reads the comments uh, of this small, tiny YouTuber who helps put out content for their Japanese games so that their international fans can play. <laughs> so, anyways guys, let's do this 10 plate gacha pool discounted. Um, if we do get Freya's episode plate, I have nothing to say. Uh, I'm expecting nothing from this. Um, we do get a bit of that load right there, and it's a pretty slow one, so that's... Oh god, that's a bit nerve-wracking for my case, because I'm trying to prove a theory, and it's kind of going haywire right now. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, we get three Valkyrie animations, no golden orb, so... Yeah, no red box on the first bling. Two red boxes, so it might end up a pretty mediocre pool with two red boxes at the end of it. But still, I'm not expecting any of the red boxes to evolve to a rainbow one. So, there we go. Keeping the red boxes for last. But... Oh, okay, I'm I'm happy. We get, we get an episode plate with costume points for Freya's new costume that's good in my books. Um, so yeah, right, and we do get to see the first red box already, it did not evolve. More points! I'm good! And no evolution on the last red box as well, so yeah, kind of expected, you know. Uh, if, we, if, we, if things do go well in terms of like episode plate boxes evolving and all that kind of stuff, it's really just a bonus. Uh, we do- ooh, okay, I'm happy, I'm happy that Clan gets some love. <laughs> okay! Alright, so yeah, I guess the main goal is achieved. We do get costume points for Freya's brand new costume. It means that I can use episode ops um, to unlock the costume if I, if I want to. Um, technically, I do have Mikumo's episode plate. Uh, or rather, uh, Mikumo's episode... Uh, uh, no, not episode. Costume! Well, the word is not coming out of my mouth properly. <laughs> 
technically I have Mikumo's costume unlocked thanks to the events episode played and of course that one single Mikumo plate that I managed to pull out from the last video. Um, I do have some extra episode ops unlocked, um, you know, through all the older plates that I have yet to power up and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for episode ops to, you know, unlock a brand new costume, make sure you do some uh, housekeeping for all the episode plates they really attain. Um, gain all the costume points that are belonging to costumes or Valkyries that are close to getting that episode orb unlocked. Get those episode orbs, feed them to the costume that you really want to unlock because they belong to your waifu and you need to complete their wardrobe collection just like my Ranka dear. <laughs> and yeah, and watch those beautiful uh, exclusive live sequences that you know they perform um, with those costumes on. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. It's a pretty short one. Uh, let me know your thoughts as usual in the comments down below. Leave a like to this video and of course, the most important thing of all, if you guys are not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you are brand new, welcome to the channel and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon uh, to notify yourselves whenever I put up a new video. And of course, um, check out the YouTube Facebook page that I have. Um, I usually upload all the... Um, you know, not so, um, I, would, I guess, entertaining <laughs> info on the Facebook page, like, um, you know, birthday wishes to all the Macross stuff, like the Kawamori's birthday they recently just passed. Uh, if you don't know who he is, shame on you, you are a Macross fan, you should know who the creator of Macross is. And of course, Sautome Auto Seiyu's uh, birthday, same day as Kawamori, and of course, Heinz Kuhn from Macross Delta, also sharing the same birthday as Kawamori. That's three Macross people <laughs> in one day. Uh, that's pretty exciting. And yeah, and all the, you know, the screenshots of the episode plates, um, you know, you can have them as wallpapers. They're all on the YouTube Facebook page as well. So yeah, guys, join the community, build the bond together, build friends all over the world. I've gotten so many international friends thanks to this uh, Utah Macross game and in fact just uh, Utah Macross no no in fact uh, I keep thinking Utah Macross I've been doing so much Utah Macross content that I cannot get the word out of my mind thanks to the Macross franchise thank you Kao Morisama you know you have made such an awesome awesome franchise awesome series um, that has brought so many people around the world together through love so always remember love Alright guys, until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!